in this video, the prophet will be talking about no other than the year 5775. Um, the number properties um, of the number 5775. As you can see in the middle, the 77 is no other than Jesus Christ. When adding Christ is 77 found in the middle of the Israeli year for this year, 5775. Also, without a coincidence, taking all the years that Abraham lived and multiplying with the, all the years that Jesus lived, we come up with the number 5775, evenly. Taking the word Christ, C H R I S T and adding it. Clearly taking the word Christ and adding it, you get the seventy seven found in the year for Israel this year. Five seven seven five. But going in reverse, I want to show you something. When you get to the S in the word Christ, you clearly make out the 57, which is the first and second number, and the third and fourth number, and the year 5775 for Israel this year. Also, adding the T. You can make out inside the conversion of letters changed to numbers. You can make out the 1982. The four numbers that give you the years it's been since 2015, or the year mentioned 5775 since Jesus was crucified. Gives you the date, gives you the hours. 1982 gives you the years, excuse me, 1982. Since Christ was crucified. So if I take the year that Israel is this year, minus 1982 years ago, you come up with the year 3793. Which is when Christ was crucified. According to our calendar, the year 33 AD. The Great Gorian calendar is 33 AD. Okay. Would be 33 AD. Okay, now. Now, taking 33 times all the years. Taking all the years that Jesus lived, multiplied with all the years that Abraham lived, you get the year 5775 for Israel this year. You also can make out the 1335 found in Daniel chapter 12. Furthermore, if you take 5 plus 7, is 12 correct okay and 5 plus 7 is 12 or the reverse excuse me 5 plus 7 is the first half then the other half in reverse 7 plus 5 is 12 okay what you find out Is 12 plus 12 will give you 24. Correct. Okay. Now, let's look at the properties for the number 5775. It's not that in the year 5775. 
okay which when you take 5 plus 7 plus 7 plus 5 everyone you get 24 what is the connection clearly 15 times 20 excuse me every every hour on earth is 60 minutes correct okay but every day on earth is 24 hours every hour on earth is 24 minutes I mean 60 minutes okay so you see one day on earth is 24 hours and you see the year 5775 for Israel this year being 24 right okay everyone in Hebrew the word Elohim is 86 multiplying 86 you get 48 it's not true in 1948 Israel became a Jewish state. Okay. God created the earth in six days, rest on the seventh. 67 is also what? If I was to take this year 2015 and a minus 67, what do I get? 1948. God created the earth in six days, the rest on the seventh. The 86 is Elohim. Okay. Keep in mind these three numbers one, six, and eight. Okay. Keep in mind these three numbers one, six, and eight. Okay. Mind you, one times six times 8 is 48 correct okay I'm bringing to your attention is the number 5775 which is also a year for Israel this year 5775 okay and what I want to bring to your attention is the fact that inside the devices for Israel for that year the sum the count of the devices is 24. Okay. Clearly, if you add it just like I showed you, or you remember the addition I did, 5, 7, 7, 5, gave us 24, right? Okay. Now, clearly, looking in the number 5, 7, 7, 5, we see the year Jesus was crucified, 33, according to our Gregorian calendar. According to the Great Orient calendar, he was crucified in the year 33 AD. Found as one of the devices and going to the year 5775, which is no other than if you divide it 5775 by 175 as one of the devices of 5775, you see it's all the years that Abraham lived. All the years that Abraham lived found as one of the visors just as all the years Jesus lived is found as one of the visors for the year 5775 just as the number 168 which is no other than all the hours and seven days in the week which is the hexadecimal number for the year 5775 or the number 5775 taking all the hours and seven days multiplying them clearly we see the hexadecimal number for the year and the number 5775 inside all the hours in the week the same as all the hours in the week, 168, evenly. 
which is the hexadecimal for the number 5775 or the year 5775 in Israel this year. Also, we come also 68. In other words, it's 86 reverse. It was Elohim, the creator. When multiplying 8 times 6 is 48. 1948, Israel became a Jewish state. That's why all these numbers connected to God coming this year to judge Israel. This is the word Jew, everyone. You clearly can see the W in the word Jew is 24. The same sum divisors of the year 5775. It's 24 divisors. Just as the hexadecimal number is 168, 1 times 6 times 8 is 24, everyone. Just as it's 24 hours in a day. And clearly, it's 168 hours in a week, in seven days in a week. Clearly, inside the word Jew, you can make out the year 2015 from the calculation. You can make out the word, the year, the number, 2015. 2015. Unmistakably. And clearly, you can make out the 52. And truly, Hebrew uses 22 letters in the alphabet. And you can make out the 22. And you can clearly make out the 420, which is God, when multiplied. Or the 24. And once again, I'll show you multiplying all the years that Jesus lived all the years that Abraham lived clearly you get 175 multiplied with 33 you get the year 5775 in Israel this year it's no more coincidence 5775 divided by 33 it's 175 5775 Divided by 175 is 33. All the years Jesus lived until he was crucified and so rose again is connected with all the years Abraham lived. Connected as one of these two numbers is two devices that make up the 24 devices that go into the year 5775 as 24 hours on earth is the is the time on earth one day is divided by 24 hours so as the hexadecimal for 5775 is 48 when Israel became a nation 1948 half of that would be 24 God is showing you uniquely always did when he's coming this year 2015 the year 5775 in Israel this year I wonder this is just the way that it is Unmistakably.